Hi everybody, it's Sierra Thalia or Cassandra and I'm giving you a little bit of a update on stuff we're doing. Well, particularly uh, for the vest. We just started that um, a couple of weeks ago. We did a mock-up of it and we were okay with it overall, but we did some tweaks and lengthened it and changed out some stuff in to make things easier, we just got a vest that King Hoppo actually has. Woot! And pretty much it's going to be the same thing. Um, vest, welted pocket. It's pretty straightforward. And a welted pocket is what we're here about today. And let's see. Welted means, see this business going on in here? This one actually is a double welted, meaning there's two little folds in here. One, and there's a second one on the top. And inside you have your wonder pocket. Woot. Well, um, for our pocket, we got something a little different going on here. Um, I want to make sure that the welting was another color than the actual fashion fabric here. And so, um, I looked at a few tutorials and most of them for the most part said, do this, do that, and that's it. But um, for this one, I needed to do something up bit more interesting with it and I want to be a little creative and kind of matchy matchy okay that's out of the way see here is the mock-up that I made of it earlier today and it looks okay for the most part and here's the fashion fabric and the yellow and the welting here it's actually double welted as well it's kind of hard to see because it's black and all it blends but um <laughs> Um, I'm pretty much satisfied with it. I got a little extra stitching I need to do on this, but like I said, again, it's the mock-up one, so I wasn't really into getting it exact precise on this case because I did something a bit different with this. I, did, I added a third fabric in. Let's show you what's going on here. See, there's the top welting and the bottom welting. And you notice this raw edge here? Uh, let me get that welting going on there. Oh, there we go. You see, contrasted against the lining. That raw edge there, I use a rotary cutter when I cut my fabric. That indicates I did not use a big, big enough piece of black fabric. I probably will go back and do this again and make it about two inches longer. So when I have a fold over, I'll have enough of it fabric to use and then the extra bits will be caught in the seam allowance around here. But um, overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. And like I said, I had a third fabric, which as you see, woot, heart, which magically matches the inside lining of my ball skirt, my overskirt for um, Marianne's costume. So, yeah, I'm kind of dorky like that. I, I want to make it a little extra special and add another color in there. And let's show you the reverse side. Nothing special going on, really. You just actually can see the lining fabric for a pocket. And kind of neat. And this one, I think, is about 5 inches wide and about, I can't remember the actual measurements, I think 4 inches deep. And... Well, I actually got to do some more cutting here to get this uh, actual proper shape. Like I said, it was a mock-up, and I was kind of not caring all the way, and I was trying to, you know, work out dimensions and stuff. But um, overall, I'm pl pretty much pleased with it. And um, if you guys want me to, just let me know in the comments. If you want us to go ahead and make a tutorial on how to make a welted pocket with, um, with a contrasting fashion fabric lining, and of course, a third color for the welting. Because I can't find it, maybe I didn't Google through hard enough, who knows, but hey, we got time, we can do stuff. After the con, maybe. Yeah, it's, yeah, afterwards. Yeah, that, that'll be it. <laughs> but um, that's it, and um, I'll go ahead and get some of the, the stuff recut and make a second go at it again. That's it. Bye.